What is going on number ones new year again here for you some call of duty black ops 2 and today we're playing a little bit of kill confirmed this time on the map carrier we're gonna be rocking the swap 556 rifle which i like this rifle a lot because I, i'm a big fan of three round burst weapons uh this one was particularly weak throughout most of black ops 2 is definitely just outclassed by the m8a1 in every way and then part way through the game they actually gave this gun a buff and now it's pretty powerful. Now it's like basically the M16 from Call of Duty 4 or maybe Modern Warfare 2. It's just a really powerful, uh, rather low fire rate, but a high damage 3 round burst rifle that you're going to find yourself getting a bunch of one burst kills at pretty decent ranges. So it's a gun I like, it's a gun I'm comfortable with, and this is a freaking fantastic gameplay. <laughs> lots of kills. Lots and lots and lots and lots of kills. I hope you guys will enjoy that. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Nero's billion dollar idea. Which now makes me the prophet of Call of Duty. The foreseer. Perhaps the king? I don't know. I need a title. I definitely need a title. Because my billion dollar Call of Duty idea of having a w random weather generator and maybe a random time of the day generator might actually be in the next Call of Duty now. Might be. So Sledgehammer Games, the people that came in, uh, they worked a little bit of on Modern Warfare 3. And now they've been announced by Activision as being a new developer within the Call of Duty series. It's no longer just Treyarch and Infinity Ward. It's now Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer. And Sledgehammer is actually making the next Call of Duty game that's going to be coming out this year in 2014. Right? This November. Coming out this game. Sledgehammer themselves are looking for some people with the, to come and work with them a little bit. Because they need some people that are good with weather stuff. I'm just going to try and quote this right here. The candidates they're looking for, this is them trying to hire for a position at Sledgehammer, the candidates will have the opportunity to contribute to various areas of in-game effects, including, but not excluding, weaponry effects, vehicle destruction, large-scaled, rigged body simulators, as well as environmental effects such as fire, smoke, water, and weather system. So with this next Call of Duty game, Sledgehammer is looking to bring in a ton of different things, including a weather system, which I think is pretty much due to, in part, to me making that video and you guys click the tweeting it. That click the tweet, man, there were several hundred of you that went ahead and tweeted everybody. Like, you guys tweeted that video towards Sledgehammer, you guys tweeted that video towards Infinity Ward, you tweeted that video towards Treyarch. All right, that's fantastic that you guys did that. And I know that they watched it. I know that they got to it because when I made my open letters to Sledgehammer video, they acknowledged they saw it. And that barely got any click the tweet links uh, sent their way as compared to Nero's billion dollar Call of Duty idea where we have the random time of the day and the random weather generator. This is a fantastic idea. I'm so happy that, like, I, like I said, I don't even want money. I don't want anything from it. I just want this to actually be in the next Call of Duty game, in every Call of Duty game going forward, and it looks as though it might be in the next one. That's freaking fantastic. You know, we talk about Call of Duty a lot, right, here on my channel, as well as I'm sure you guys think and talk about Call of Duty a lot. You watch a lot of Call of Duty commentators. When was the last time Call of Duty actually innovated? Actual innovation. I'll tell you when. Modern Warfare 2. 2009 was the last time there was actual innovation. You see, Call of Duty itself, you know, going from Call of Duty 1, which I don't think had multiplayer, that, but then uh, there was Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 3, really cut from the same cloth, basically the same idea. Hell, I think they were both World War II games as well. But then when Call of Duty 4 came out, they first implemented kill streaks, the 357 kill streaks. They first implemented create a class and perks and attachments for your weapons. It was revolutionary. That's one of the reasons Call of Duty 4 killed Halo, right? Because Call of Duty 4, with all those innovations, it was just like the freaking coolest thing ever. Then when World of War came out, directly following Call of Duty 4, in World of War, they basically did more of the same uh, as compared to Call of Duty 4. Basically the same idea, 357 kill streaks, uh, or customizable classes, and parks and all that stuff they did that right but it's really more the same it was basically cod 4 but during world war 2 which i was fine with but then during modern warfare 2 directly following world of war they came out 
with customizable kill streaks. You can choose your kill streaks. They weren't set the 357. In Call of Duty 4, you had UAV airstrike helicopter. In World of War, you had spy plane, artillery strike, and attack dogs. All of them 357. Then comes Modern Warfare 2. You have Harrier strikes, care packages, predator missiles, AC-130s, payloads, chopper gunners, EMP systems, tactical nukes, UAVs, counter UAVs, care packages, sentry guns. It was insane, that kind of innovation. It forever changed the landscape of Call of Duty by doing that. Then when Black Ops 1 came out, it was basically the same idea. And then when Black Ops 2 came out, in terms of kill streaks and stuff, it was basically the same, but they did implement the Pick 10 system, which the Pick 10 system, I guess you could say revolutionized Call of Duty a little bit because ever since the Pick 10 system of Black Ops 2, people have been using the Pick 10 system, uh, both in Black Ops 2 as well as Call of Duty Ghost. But at the same time, it's like, I, it's not giant innovation because really what the whole pick 10 system or especially with the perks you see in Call of Duty Ghost, all that's really doing is taking previous perks from like Modern Warfare 2 that were pro perks and then just breaking them down into multiple perks. For example, in Black Ops 1, the perk Slay of Hand Pro gave you the ability to reload faster as well as aim down sights faster. Sound familiar? That sounds a lot, awful lot like Quick Draw and Slay of Hand. In Call of Duty Ghost, right? They basically just took Slave Hand Pro and broke it up into two different perks, right? That's what they did. So the Pick 10 system's not exactly revolutionary, but the idea of a random weather generator, a random time of the day generator, where there is just a very minimal chance that you'll play the same map twice and have it be the exact same as the last time you played it, is going to be insane. I'm talking, my idea basically is, uh, whenever you load up the map, like let's take the map Carrier, which is what we're playing on right now, let's say when you load in the Carrier, there's a random weather generator. So, when the map's loading, there's a 25% chance that this map is going to be snowy, a 25% chance it's going to be sunny, a 25% chance it's going to be raining, and another 25% chance it's going to be, I don't know, foggy, right? And then, that's only the, that is only the weather. Now it's time for the time of the day generator to kick in, where there's a 25% chance of it being early morning, a 25% chance of it being noon, a 25% chance of it being like a dusky nighttime, and then, of course, another 25% chance where it's like pitch black midnight nighttime, right? That is awesome. Awesome idea. It's looking like Sledgehammer is actually listening to my idea. It's looking like all those quick to tweets... Uh, that you guys sent to them actually got through and now they're looking for somebody and it's not like they had this already working they're just now looking for somebody to start working on this whole new system so i definitely have a feeling that uh that my video had something to do with that so you can call me the foreseer you can call me the prophet or whatever it is you want to call me that's freaking awesome that they're gonna be doing this i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel it deserves hope you guys all have a wonderful day.